There you go, team. Like the old fella's travels, <laughs> if you didn't already know. So um, when you're just coming into town, I really like Hope Town. I've got to tell you, um, here's the um, entry. They've got a really nice little information centre here. Welcome to Hope Town. It's a friendly little town too, I've got to tell you. So we've got the information centre here. It tells you a lot about Hope Town and other areas. Um, there's a website, Fitzgerald something. Um, it's on the other side. But a um, whole load of information there. I'm going to um, go and visit um, these sites, especially that jetty there, down the bottom. But, um, oh yeah, there it is, www.fitzgeraldcoast.com.au. That's where you need to go. I'm going to have a look at that when I get back. I've got about two bar reception, one to two bar reception, depending on the time of the day where I'm camped, back in the caravan park. If I turn the, um, actually, it was a good chance to test the um, the Y, the um, cell fire. Cell wise, cell fire, whatever it's called. Um, but I did find um, I was on one bar, and if I crank that on, I'd go straight to four bars. But um, yeah, really nice little information centre. Welcome to Ho Hope Town. Note how it's spelt, guys, if you're looking it up T O U N. Still pronounces the same, doesn't it? Town. Yeah. Um, It'd be up amongst my best best stop so far. Caravan Park looks old and can look dated, but it's under new management. And um, with the new management, they're tidying up. They were going around cutting all the overhanging trees and old branches and that were hanging down. You know, I'm not sure how it's rated, but I'll give it a definite thumbs up. Hope Town in itself is a is a great spot. A just beautiful drive along further along the coast to um, Culham, uh, what's it called? Culham Inlet. Beautiful piece of beach up there. If you haven't got a dog and you don't mind paying a small fee, you can drive up in the National Park and get a beautiful view. I didn't go up because I've got barns. But um, yeah, it's a cracker. I rate it. So um, I rate the caravan park. I think it's on the up and up. It might have been a bit dated in the past, but new, new owner. Shape, starting to shape it up. I rate it. I reckon it's the place to visit and stop. And Hope Town. <laughs> Even if you only stay a night, you should call in and have a look. Beautiful little town. I've booked another four nights, by the way. <laughs> I'm loving it. And Barnes is too. There you go, guys. Hope Town. Gets the old fella's travels tick of approval. I rate it. <laughs> Alright, guys. I've always wanted to have a look at um, these giant wind wind harvesters for power or whatever they call them and oh it makes me feel giddy just looking at them so just out of hope town we've got what is called um the hope town wind diesel system two wind turbines generate clean and renewable energy and offset the amount of diesel fuel yes of course Hope Town is an ideal location for wind energy. The two turbines built in 2004-2007, wow, so they've been here a while, produce about 40% of the local requirements. At times, turbines produce much more than this. Special equipment at the power station has been installed to cope with the fluctuations in wind speed. When there is little or no wind, diesel generators continue to supply the town's electricity. The wind diesel system is owned and operated by Synergy. Wow. Capacity 600 kilowatt. 46. Oh, listen. Oh, <laughs> that's spooky. 46 meters high. Blades are 22 meters long, and rotates at 18 to 34 revs per minute. Generates a million units annually. Savings 180 liters of diesel. Let, listen, that, be, oh guys, that's how big it is. There's the base next to the cruiser. Let's go up, 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 up. Oh my God, will you look at that? <laughs> it's unreal. I've never seen anything like it. I've seen it from a distance, but to come up close and have a look. 
I'm going to tell you, <laughs> to stand underneath that thing, oh, it gives me the heebie-jeebies. Those great big blades going around. Barnes in the car, don't worry, it's idle and I've got the aircon on. It's a bit warm, so I ain't turning, I ain't turning him off and I don't want to bring him out. He's there sleeping, he's absolutely had it from the run along the beach this morning. But um, have a look at this. <laughs> Here's the cruiser, the base is nearly as wide as my cruiser. And we'll go up again. Look at that. <laughs> Holy cow! It's massive. I don't think it's the biggest that we have, but this is the first one I've been able to get close to. The ones that, um, where was it? Port Augusta. You couldn't go. You couldn't go up and look at them. So that's that's the one I parked under. There's two up here. Um, let's have a look. Where was the other one? You can see it. Oh yeah. Here's the other one over here. At a distance, they don't look that big. But holy cow. We're going to stand underneath this one in a minute and we'll have a look. You can see the... Listen. That'd drive you nuts. <laughs> Here's the other one spinning over there. Unreal, this is worth a visit. Oh, things like this. <laughs> I don't know whether everyone's into it, but things like this, um, amazing pieces of technology and engineering, um, along with history. I love Australian history and military history as well, but um, this is another level. Um, it really is very impressive. Get over here and we'll have a listen. Get around, away from the noise of the motor. No, we can't hear the blades from here. But we'll stand here and we'll look straight up. Look at that. Oh, God. It really is quite freaky, guys. You probably don't get the effect on the camera, but... Um, it really is a freaky feeling standing in here seeing those great big blades wish around with that noise. So it's not easy to find. Well, I shouldn't say that. There's the other one in the distance over there, which is the same size. Um, it's not marked that I could find. So I've seen them. I've seen the windmills and um, I thought, I wonder if you can go up. Probably not. So I followed a couple of roads and pretty much the third turn off um, runs directly, the, a road that runs directly towards them is the one to take in. And to my surprise when I got up here they've actually got a sign saying um, wind farm or wind genera any generation um, viewing stand. So they've actually done this so you can come and have a look at them which heads off to Synergy because you know this is the first one I've been able to get to and have a look. It's Cracker Jack, oh, I love it. <laughs> anyway, guys, I don't like even, don't like me um, diesel idling for more than a few minutes. It's not real good for them. So, um, we'll get going. <laughs> I, like, I enjoyed this. It was quite good. Loved it. Let me know what you think, guys. <laughs> yeah. It was impressive for me, but on camera, I don't know how it's going to look, but um, amazing stuff. Cheers. It's a cracker of a spot. Really good car park. Find ourselves a parking spot in here. It's got a, bit, a little bit of signage. Beach access there again. Tells you a little bit about it. Culham Inlet. A little bit of history there. And we'll park down here and go in this one. Okay guys, so this is a cracker of a spot. 
come and have a look on the beach. I don't know whether anyone's here. It's hard to tell because some people drive down the end and drive onto the beach, but we'll have a look and see what it's like first. Thank you. 